Thanks very much. Well, last night, rioters set fire to businesses across the city. A lot of them were damaged, some were destroyed. Tony Atkins talked with one business owner who actually barricaded himself in his office while people were trying to break in. Tony? That's right, Steve. That happened uh, at Affordable Auto Sales, which is right around the corner from where Tom is right now. We heard some of the shots in the distance as uh, police began to make protesters disperse. Now, around the corner here at the auto shop, I spoke with the owner. He was inside of his office and he walked us through a night he says he will never forget. A long day of prep as businesses prepared for what they hoped wouldn't be another night like the one before. Because boarding up our stuff is just to protect our home and our business. Andrea Nunez lives above the auto shop her family owns and is now boarding up. Others are just helping people out. We are here, you know, we're making sure that we could do everything we can in our power to protect as many businesses as we can. And all of those business owners are preparing for what could be a potentially long night. Here at Affordable Auto Sales, the owner says he knows all about it. I've been looking at it all day and just trying to make sense of it. David Priel walked me through his lot. Nearly every car burned or smashed through the night. He showed us his office where he stayed overnight, helplessly watching his cameras as waves of people damaged his business and his front door through the night. One of my least favorite words is surreal because I think it's overused, but last night was surreal. Despite everything, he says he'll be here another night. Why would you want to put yourself through that again for a second night? If I can just maybe keep my building now from being burnt down, that'd be great. And once again, David is out here at his shop inside his office watching over his property. He says he's not upset at any of the protesters. He understands their frustration after he watched the video of Jacob Blake being shot earlier this week. Reporting in Kenosha, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.